Hi, I'm Mark Kornblatt, artist and DIY expert. In previous videos, I've showed you how to turn your bathroom mirror into an aquarium, how to build cardboard furniture, even how to build a street legal electric motorcycle. Today we've got something a little bit different, a do-it-yourself telepresence robot that you can control from anywhere in the world over the internet. It uses common materials and free software that we provide. And best of all, it's entirely open source. So if you want to redesign it and make some changes, we'll go right ahead. In fact, we encourage you to post your designs at sparkyjr.com. But what is Sparky Jr.? How does it work? And can someone build one without any real technical skills? Well, Sparky is not technically a robot, but it's really an ROV or rover. That just means remotely operated vehicle, just like the Global Hawk, Predator, and other drones used by the government every day. The big difference is that Sparky is a lover, not a fighter. Also, unlike most military killbots, Sparky also shows its face and voice in real time to the people around the bot, allowing you to have a real-time conversation with those people. So let's talk about some of the hardware that we need. First, we need a computer. Sparky Jr. uses a Mac Mini because it's cheap, it's available, and it's a very powerful computer. There's no reason why this project couldn't work under Windows or Linux, and in fact, if someone wants to write that code, drop me a line. Or even better, just write it and upload it to the site. Laptops and netbooks are becoming a popular and affordable option, and they can work great too, but they present an aesthetic issue. No matter what you do, it's going to look like a laptop on wheels. And while that might not bother the engineer in you, it certainly doesn't work for everyday use. Sparky Jr. also uses a small computer screen from a car. This is a VGA resolution monitor. You could also use a small TV set, but then reading the computer text on the TV would be a little bit difficult. Now to use this for video chat, we also need a webcam, powered speakers, and a microphone. Putting a separate mic on the robot really makes a big difference in reducing audio feedback and noise. It helps the communication quite a bit. For power, Sparky Jr. uses the seven amp hour, 12 volt battery, and this power inverter. It's really great. The computer will plug right in here, and the monitor, because it's designed to work in a car, actually plugs into a lighter jack, so it can go right in here. And that's all you need to do to power up everything. This should give you about an hour and a half worth of juice. The original Sparky used the drivetrain from a motorized wheelchair bolted to a custom welded steel frame. But today we're going cheap, fast, and only a little bit out of control. So a great chassis to use is the iRobot Create from the same people who build the vacuum robots. Now this is just like the vacuum, it's got all the same features including wheels, motors, bumpers, batteries, everything you need except the actual vacuum has been removed and all this space is left over for projects. Now they even included a serial cable because they know that we want to connect this robot to our computer for control. To do that we need special software. Lucky for you it's available for free at sparkyjr.com. Now in the next episode, we're going to explore that software and exactly how to set it up to get your robot up and running. It's an important step, so you don't want to miss it. We'll see you then.